So that leads me to another question. Can we choose which emotions we feel or experience? Can we, can we you know, I'm, I'm thinking I want to feel, must feel pretty sad today. Or I'm going to, I want to feel happy now. Yeah. Can, can we do that? I, I, I got a couple laughs. That's as much as I get out of you. Yeah, I heard a sort of. Yeah, it's not real reliable, not real predictable. Especially, and it seems like the harder you try, the worse it gets. Like, you're not afraid, you're not afraid, you're not afraid, you're not afraid. Then why am I shaking, right? You, you probably notice as you've read through the Bible, if you've been doing the Bible thing for a while, that there are lots of commands that tell us what to do, right? Plenty of commands to tell us what things, actions we should take. There are plenty of commands that seem to tell us, like, what we should think about. There are plenty of commands that tell us which things we should value, that we should say are important or we should treasure, right? But you're not finding a pretty large list of feel this way commands, are you? You notice that? Lots of, lots of scriptures that tell us act this way. Lots of scriptures that say think on these things. Lots of scriptures that say value or treasure these things. But there are not many scriptures that say feel this way. And I think the reason is because we cannot, as a general rule, we cannot directly choose which feelings or emotions hit us or which ones we experience. We, we can't really control that very well. But that does not mean we cannot, this is number four, that doesn't mean we can't influence them. 